Man, oh man, who remembers this game right here? I'll give you a second to think about it. But I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know what this is. Give you a few more seconds. If you haven't figured it out already, then you just lost some cool points, man. Shame on you. Shame on you. What's going on, all my gamers out there? It's that one and only expert in beast. And today, you guys are watching some Star Wars Battlefront 2 on the PC. Man, oh man, has it been forever since I played this game. And I actually got it off of Steam sale. I think it was like one or two weeks ago. But there's been other games I've been playing. So I haven't really made time for Battlefront. But I had to get this game because I remember playing it back in the day I believe on the PlayStation 2 and this game was freaking fun like, I used to spend a lot of time just playing the campaign because even the campaign felt like a multiplayer sure you're playing with bots but even then for somebody like me that wasn't really playing online that was cool I was like holy crap no, there's big open battlefields there's tanks there's fucking other like vehicles jeeps and all sorts of stuff going on in Battlefront and this game is just overall fun which leads me to our actual topic of this video Dice, please, for the love of God, do not mess up Battlefront 3. You have a good IP in your hands. This could potentially be one of the best shooters that's came out in a long time. Could be one of the best shooters of 2015, like, period. So I believe that's the rumored release date, or not rumored, I believe they actually said it's coming out spring 2015. So I could be wrong about that date, but I believe that's why I remember hearing, anyways. Dice, you do have a good IP in your hands, and this could be one of the best shooters, so please don't fuck this up, because we know it's going to be on the Frostbite engine, and honestly, you guys have not been having a good track record. I'm talking to you as if you're watching this video, but these guys haven't really been having a good track record here recently with Battlefield 4 coming out all buggy, and then Warfighter was a buggy when it came out. No, it wasn't as bad, but it did have its problems. You know, we can all admit it, it needed a day one patch immediately, and even then, it still had its issues. Battlefield 3 came out, you know, buggy at the very beginning. Granted, not as bad as Battlefield 4, but it still had its issues. My point is is that these games on the Frostbite engine have not been exactly perfect. Not to say any game is, but we can all agree that these games have had their issues and we know that Star Wars Battlefront 3 will be on the Frostbite engine and you know it, that right there kind of just worries me I mean I know the game is going to look good that's for damn sure on the Frostbite engine because that's one thing we can say about the engine is that the engine makes games look damn good but I'm worried about just how is it going to perform is it going to be buggy in day one because you can like kill the game off like that because Star Wars has a lot of star power behind it, but you know, it's not like it's Call of Duty or Battlefield as far as the first person shooter genre, you know what I mean? It's not like it's one of those games, so it could make or break Star Wars, really, so guys, again, please don't mess this game up, because it could be really great, and and another thing too, please try not to make it a Battlefield clone, because this game has the potential to pretty much be a Battlefield clone, like one of their test dummy games, like, hey, Let's see what we can do with this game and then just approve on it on the next Battlefield. Because, I mean, admittedly, if you play Battlefront, the maps aren't as big, but it could come off as, like, a game if it under dice hands, I should say. It could be kind of like a Battlefield call. It could be Star Wars Battlefield, pretty much, <laughs> you know? Because you have the tanks and you have the jet battles and all this you know, ma um, big multiplayer conquest type game style. Because Star Wars has that, too. You know, yeah, to a smaller scale, because the maps, I wouldn't say, are as big as Battlefield maps, but it's similar, you know, they kind of, the Conquest modes are kind of similar, and yeah, it could, if DICE really wanted to, they could have, uh, they can, I should say, make this into a Battlefield clone, which I hope is not the case, I mean, I hope that, you know, it, it still feels like Star Wars, plays like Star Wars, you know, it's Star Wars all around, but, you know, we'll see what happens, hopefully the game doesn't come out as bad as Battlefield 4. That's one thing I'm really worried about. I've even been not asking for Bad Company 3 here lately because if it comes up like fucking Battlefield 4, it would put a bad taste in my mouth for the whole Bad Company series in general. So, I mean, yeah, I am worried about the game because I know this game could really end up being great. So, Dice, I really hope you don't drop the ball on this one because if you do this game justice, it will sell pretty damn good. Come on, I mean, it's freaking Star Wars. But anyways, you guys let me know in the comments. Do you think that um, 
Dice is going to drop the ball. Are you worried about this game? Or do you think they're going to do this series justice? You guys let me know in the comments. And I'll be talking to you guys next time. Laters.